This video is sponsored by my favorite website creator, Squarespace, the best place to go when you want to get a domain or create a beautiful website or an online store. Oh, okay, my friends, I have something to tell you. And thank you so, so much for clicking this video and watching this because I am just dying to celebrate and it's wonderful to have you guys to celebrate with because I have a lovely bit of news. I have got a book deal for my second novel and it will be out next spring. Yes. April 2025 will be the year I go from debut novelist to established season second book author because the publisher of my first novel also want to publish this second one. And can I be honest and a little bit vulnerable here and say that really this is quite a big deal for me. Like it's my dream this to write stories that actually get made into books that people can, you know, go into the bookshop and pick up. Surreal so surreal. I honestly couldn't be more pleased. I've been working so hard hoping that all those words in my Google Doc would someday become actual ink on actual paper. And thank God it's happening. Do you want to know what it's about? Okay. Oh, I actually haven't even told you the title yet, have I? Are you ready? Okay. So my second novel is called What a Time to be Alive. What do you think? Quite a beautiful title, no? I have to say, I'm really fond of this title myself. I've always thought of it as what a time to be alive ever since I started the first draft. And luckily my publisher loves it too. And it's a novel set in, can you guess which city? Guys, it's actually set in Stockholm. What do you say about that? Do you want to spend time with my fictional characters in a moody, nostalgic Stockholm next spring? then you know what? It's perfectly all right with me if you go ahead and pre-order it. Actually, it will mean so much because pre-orders will tell the bookshop that it's a novel people are already excited about and it will make them order more copies. So if you wanted to support your friendly neighborhood novelist Jenny in any way, this would be it. But, 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 maybe I should tell you the plot already. So in What a Time to be Alive, we follow Sikan Hermansson, a 21 year old from a small town in southern Sweden who has moved to Stockholm for university. She's lived a sad life and an incredibly lonely life because as a child, she was throughout her school years completely friendless and quite tormented by her classmates. And she's an only child with parents who are really quite reserved and distant. So she's never actually had any real intimacy with another person before. But all this is about to change because if there's one thing that Sikan is adamant about is that coming to Stockholm will be a new start and she will be a new Sikan. She will make friends, she will have sex and above all she will just be normal, damn it. And at first it looks like she's quite successful. She makes friends with the unruly and loud and very rich Hannah, her first close relationship. And then she meets Abbe, who she falls hard in love for, like immediately and intensely in love. But then of course, things get messy, very messy. <sighs> Poor Sikan. I feel almost bad for writing her into all these messy situations because can I just say, I love this character. She has lived inside my head for years now and she's just, I don't know, I think she's the best thing that I've ever created, if that makes sense. So what a time to be alive. I would say it's a novel about young womanhood, like all the things we have to face and deal with simply for being female. It's about dealing with class and trauma and sex and loneliness. But I think mostly it's about, you know, that time in your life when everything happens for the first time, like the first time you fall in love and have sex and the first party you're invited to and the first time you live by yourself. And for Sikan, who desperately wants to be just normal and fit in, but perhaps isn't a very normal person, it becomes that question of, you know, how much of who you truly are as a person are you willing to sacrifice to simply fit in? And one thing that I find so interesting and exciting and quite fun for me is that many of the people who've already read it, like author friends and people at the publishers, have said that Sikan is a character that you fall in love with quite hard, that you like, you feel for her so much and your heart aches for her trying to find her place in the world. But even though you love her from like relating to her and being like inside her head, you have no idea how you would react to her if you actually met her in real life, you know, as a real person without 
knowing all of this stuff that goes on inside her head. Maybe you would love her, but maybe you would find her just a bit, you know, weird. There's no way we can know that. And I love the idea of, you know, that you can fall in love with and relate so much to a person's mind and thoughts, but not knowing what you would make of them if you met them. And I mean, I love her. I love her fiercely. And I think I would fall in love with her in person too. I think she's the most beautiful soul that I've ever written, for sure. But the most common question I've been getting about book two so far from all of you guys is whether it's similar to OK Days or not. And I think What a Time to Be Alive definitely lives in the same sort of universe as OK Days, but that it's a bit darker and sadder. I think it shows how I'm evolving as a writer and like which direction I want to move in with my prose. And look, I just have to brag a little here because, you know, I got some very early, extremely lovely quotes from other authors who have already read it. A moment for these quotes and for these extremely kind and, you know, highly intelligent authors who clearly have exquisite taste in books, don't you think? Again, it's just surreal, all of this, isn't it? So what do you think? Sounds like something you'd like to read? If so, it would mean the absolute world to me if you wanted to pre-order it. I'll put links in the description and actually, like I mentioned, I just want to say like pre-orders, they help so, so much. The numbers of books that bookshops will order once the book is out is really affected by how many pre-orders they get because it shows that there is excitement from readers about this title. And I know that you are like utter sweethearts and that you always give me such support from just, you know, being the kind-hearted people that you are. So if you want to pre-order, it will really just mean so much to me. But you know, I love you just as much, even if you don't. So whatever works for you. Also, I have to say, like, I think most people have the impression that it's the first book that it's difficult to get a book deal for. But once that you're a published author, you just like stay a published author and whatever you write will get printed. But that's actually like far from the case. So many authors get dropped from their publisher if the first book doesn't sell enough copies. So you can guess where I'm going with this. I owe you guys a massive, resounding, soppy thank you to every one of you who's bought and read OK Days because so many of you have bought it. It shows my publisher that I have a readership and that my books will find their audience. So thank you. Way back when I was in the process of finding an agent for my first novel, I had just finished writing OK Days. I knew some authors and all of them unanimously said, write the second book before the first book comes out because you won't be able to write a word after your debut launches because it's so like nerve-wracking. So I listened to them and started writing What a Time to Be Alive already in winter 2021. Can you believe that? Then I sold OK Days to Scepter in spring 2022. And then I had to take a long break from the second book because I was editing my first book with my editor. Then I've been writing on and off, but I had like 60,000 words in the first draft already when OK Days came out last summer. So after the publication craze of OK Days last June, I finished What a Time to Be Alive later that summer. So last year, I sent it to my agent who, thank God, loved it. And I've been editing with him during last autumn. And then we actually sold it to Scepter in January. So I've been keeping this on the hush for such a long time. God, so it feels so good to finally be able to talk about it. And I've been working on it this spring and like early summer with my fantastic editor, Ansa. And I had such a tight deadline. So I was like working every day, every weekend, reading and polishing and editing for 10 hours straight. But oh, so fun. I love it. So, okay, I don't always love it, but almost always I do really quite love sitting with a text and working on it. And now here we are with a finished book, just waiting for publication. Or I mean, not quite, because first we're going into copy edits and then proofreading and then typesetting and then me proofreading and then proofreading and proofreading again. I'd say I probably have like 10 or 12 read throughs left to do on this book, but hey, that's the job. So I know I haven't really talked much about my actual writing process on here, like how I write and how I plan for a book before I start writing it and how I edit and where to start and all of that. And quite a lot of you have asked me to share more about this, and I would love to. There's honestly nothing I love talking about more than creative writing and craft and, you know, how to structure a story and all of that good stuff. It's like 
all I talk about with my author friends anyway. And I'm just wondering like what the best format for this would be as in, are you guys interested in like a real creative writing course? This is something David and I have been loosely talking about for ages, that it would be the most fun project ever to actually organize a course or a workshop for like aspiring writers. So I might as well ask you on here, is this something that you would be up for? And if you are, what kind of format would you want it to take? Like an online course you can do whenever, wherever you want, or like an online video course where we actually see each other on like Zoom, or maybe, you know, an in-person course in London where we get to meet and talk about writing. Oh, and also, what's the best? Is it like a short one-day workshop or like a weekend course or like a five-day intensive course or like a longer writing course over a few months where we like check in once in a while over a longer period of time? Or like I mentioned, a text-based online course that you can take whenever you want and in like a pace that suits you. I think all of them would work. It's really what you think would be most helpful or practical to you. Anyway, please feel free to reach out if you have thoughts on this. I would absolutely love it. But now there is nothing left for me to do but to say thank you for celebrating this good news with me. Can you believe it? I will have a new book out in the world and you, if you want, will get to spend time with my best girl Sikan in Stockholm. I hope that you will like her like I do. Honestly, I can't wait for this book to be out in the world. And if you feel the same way, will you do me the massive favor of pre-ordering a copy? It really helps so much and, you know, it will mean the world to me to know already now that once it comes out, someone will actually read it. It would settle my nerves a little to like see that it's already selling. I'll leave links, of course, where you can get worldwide free shipping in case you're not in the UK. Or, you know, you can always go tell your local bookshop to order it if you want to buy it in an actual shop with actual shelves. But you know what's up. Time for champagne and strawberries and making out with David. I'm taking the rest of the day off to just enjoy this gorgeous, gorgeous moment. Huge thank you for sharing it with me, my loves. And as always, you're just the best. Now, do you want to create a beautiful site or maybe start your own blog? If so, you should definitely do it with Squarespace. Listen to this. With the new guided design system, Squarespace Blueprint, you can choose from professionally curated layouts and styling options to build a unique online presence from the ground up. Squarespace is also amazing with blogging tools to share your stories, photos and videos to make it easy to reach your audience. You can also auto-post your content to Twitter, Facebook or Tumblr, and they have great traffic analytics so that you can see how many people are visiting your site, how long they're staying for, where they're coming from and what they're interested in, like books or writing or maybe fashion, for example. So what are you waiting for? Go get your free trial today at squarespace.com. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash jennymustard to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Okay, talk to you in the comments and have a lovely, lovely day. Bye bye bye.